previously on your daily word. So uh, welcome guys, welcome back to the daily word. And um, we talked about trusting the process, but sometimes no one really says what the process is. I just given the vague term, trust the process. So we'll be looking again at my main man, David, who we saw um, was anointed despite not being the most outstanding of his siblings. So really, you don't have to be as light as Albert or as handsome as Tony or as tall as me, but your anointing is still there. So um, we're going to go through uh, just an excerpt from First Samuel chapter 18, verse 8. This was after David had joined Saul's army. And they'd come from massacring the Philistines. So people were singing praises. And they were saying Saul has killed thousands, but David has killed tens of thousands. I would do the math, but it's like for every one person Saul killed um, David and you are Kumi. They come via Avengers. But on First Samuel chapter 18, verse 8, it says, Saul was very angry about this refrain for soul killing thousands. Uh, this refrain de- displeased him greatly. They have credited David with tens of thousands, he thought, but me with only thousands. What more can he get but the kingdom? So um, sometimes even the people closest to us don't want to help us through the process. But it's about, I guess, discernment. And also, I want us to see how David handles this. Um, in many instances, Saul actually tries to kill David. Bila attack feature. Um, he gets David to marry his daughter so that when David is asleep, he can come with his men and be like, hey, so copium say, um, we want to kill him when he's asleep, like without even hiding it. And even later on, when David now runs from his own country, his own people, whom he's supposed to lead, uh, Saul is relentlessly pursuing him. And the process I imagine for David was hard. Um, Job we hear when the things had gotten thick, he questions God. But it's like David's heart knew where his anointing was. And he wasn't, he wasn't second guessing himself. I don't, um, I may not be sure, but I hardly see any point where he asks God, surely, um, why am I being persecuted for a job you chose me to do? And constantly he's running from Saul, running from Saul. And even at one point, um, when he gets the chance to kill Saul at a cave, he doesn't. He actually just anakata tu koti yake, labda ile kadigani ya Albert ya Grey, alikata kapis. And then later on he's like, look, I am your servant. Why, why do you constantly try and pursue me? So I think the process for David was extremely difficult as we looked at previously it took him around 25 years to finally ascend on the throne and this wasn't an easy 25 years maybe the first five were easy when they were still chummy with soul but after that the whole shabang became just a walking nightmare but sometimes that's what the process is and uh sometimes we get used to seeing people's processes being so easy you know um, clear primary, clear secondary, go to Harvard, get a dream job, become president, all that. But maybe you're like me, you're stuck at home wondering why, where is my life going? But where are you putting your sights on? Are you aware of your anointing? Are you working on improving your anointing daily? It doesn't have to be easy, but sometimes after the hard work is done, that's when you sit down and enjoy a car cold water, amaka, Coca-Cola, as we see in the adverts. So the process may not be easy for you. It could be easy. I'm not saying the process is the same for anyone, and it doesn't really have to be hard. But if it is, remember, it's towards the end goal that you're working on. So keep that in mind. Right. That's it from me. All gone, guys. Bye-bye.